10 Things You Don't Know, About Solar System. Don't miss to watch, the number 7 fact that will blow your mind. The solar system is a bizarre place with its alien planets, mysterious moons, and strange phenomena that are so out of this world they elude explanation. Scientists have discovered ice spewing volcanoes on Pluto, while Mars is home to a truly grand canyon the size of the United States. There may be a giant undiscovered planet lurking somewhere beyond Neptune. So without further ado, let's find some of the strangest facts about our solar system. But before that, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. The solar system, the more we learn about it, the more we are awed by its numerous wonders, and immense possibilities. Whether we will be able to completely understand it in our lifetime or not, we certainly can admire the things we do know about it, so here are 10 incredible facts about our solar system. Scientists believe there is a ninth planet, in our solar system that's around 10 times larger than Earth. But they haven't been able to locate it yet, but now we know it does exist, because of its gravitational effects on other planetary objects. The existence of massive outer planet, makes us understand the unusual orbits of our giant planets. The hypothetical ninth planet, is 10 times the mass and 4 times the diameter of Earth. It orbits at a distance 20 times that of Neptune from the Sun, in a highly elliptical orbit that takes 15,000 years for it to complete. Planet 9 does not have an official name, and will not receive one unless its existence is confirmed, typically through optical imaging, though the researchers call it fatty among themselves. It rains diamonds on Saturn and Jupiter. Although diamonds on Earth are rare, extraterrestrial diamonds are very common. Diamonds not much larger than molecules are abundant in meteorites, and some of them formed in the stars before the solar system existed. High-pressure experiments suggest large amounts of diamonds are formed from methane on the ice giant planets Uranus and Neptune, while some planets in other solar systems have almost pure diamonds. Diamonds are also found in stars, and may have been the first mineral ever to have formed. Do you know, it snows metal on Venus. Being the second planet from the Sun, and having an atmosphere with 96.5% carbon dioxide, a greenhouse gas, Venus has a very hot climate. Its surface temperatures reach an average of 465 degrees Celsius. It is hot enough to evaporate reflective pyrite minerals, over basalt volcanic rocks in the lowlands into a metallic mist. The mist, after reaching higher altitudes, condenses into a shiny metallic frost, that snows back down over the planet's surface. Jupiter has the biggest ocean of any planet in our solar system but this ocean is made of metallic hydrogen. Orbiting in cold space five times farther from the Sun than Earth, Jupiter retained much higher levels of hydrogen and helium, as compared to any other planet. In fact, Jupiter is mostly hydrogen and helium. Given the planet's mass and chemical composition, and down under cold cloud tops, and pressures, and temperatures rise to the point that hydrogen turns into liquid. Which is the reason of gigantic metallic hydrogen ocean on Jupiter. Uranus is tilted on its side it appears to be a featureless blue ball upon first glance, but this gas giant of the outer solar system is pretty weird upon closer inspection. First, the planet rotates on its side for the reasons scientists haven't quite figured out. The most likely explanation is that, it underwent some sort of one or more titanic collisions in the ancient past. In any case, the tilt makes Uranus unique among the solar system planets. Uranus also has tenuous rings, which were confirmed when the planet passed in front of a star from Earth's perspective in the year 1977. As the star's light winked on and off repeatedly, astronomers realized there was more than just a planet blocking its starlight. Jupiter's moon Ganymede has a salty ocean with more water than Earth. A salty ocean is lurking beneath the surface of Jupiter's largest moon, Ganymede, scientists using the Hubble Space Telescope have found. While the ocean at Ganymede, which is buried under a thick crust of ice, could actually harbor more water than all of Earth's surface water combined, scientists think the ocean is about 100 kilometers thick, 10 times the depth of Earth's oceans. The new Hubble Space Telescope finding could also help scientists learn more about the plethora of potentially watery worlds that exist in the solar system and beyond. 
Number 7, we are a part of the sun. We live in the sun. Normally we think of the sun as being that big, hot ball of light 150 million kilometers away. But actually, the sun's outer atmosphere extends far beyond its visible surface. Our planet orbits within this tenuous atmosphere, and we see evidence of this when the gusts of the solar wind generate the northern and southern lights. In that sense, we definitely live in the sun. But the solar atmosphere doesn't end on Earth. Auroras have been observed on Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and even distant Neptune. In fact, the outer solar atmosphere, called the heliosphere, is thought to extend at least up to 16 billion kilometers. In fact the atmosphere is like a teardrop shape due to the sun's motion in space, with the tail extending tens to hundreds of billions of kilometers downwind. The outer cloud is an extended shell of icy objects, that exist in the outermost reaches of the solar system. Space probes have yet to reach the area of the outer cloud. Voyager 1, the fastest and farthest of the interplanetary space probes. It will reach the outer cloud in about 300 years, and would take about 30,000 years to pass through it. However, around 2025, the thermoelectric generators, on Voyager 1 will no longer supply enough power, to operate any of its scientific instruments, preventing any exploration by Voyager 1. The outer limits of the outer cloud define, the cosmographical boundaries of the solar system, and the extent of the sun's hill sphere. The outer outer cloud is only loosely bound for the solar system, and thus is easily affected by the gravitational pull, both of its passing stars and of the Milky Way itself. Neptune, the eighth and farthest planet from the Sun, has the strongest winds in the solar system. At high altitude speeds can exceed 2100 km per hour. In 1989, NASA's Voyager 2 spacecraft made the first and only close-up observations of Neptune. Although Neptune is much more distant than Uranus from the Sun, receiving 40% less sunlight, temperatures on the surface of the two planets are roughly similar. In fact, Neptune radiates 2.61 times as much energy as it receives from the Sun. This is enough heat to help drive the fastest winds in the solar system. The hottest planet isn't closer to the Sun. Mercury is the planet that is closest to the Sun, and therefore gets more direct heat but it isn't even the hottest. Venus is the second planet from the Sun, and has a temperature that is maintained at 465 degrees Celsius, no matter where you go on the planet. It is the hottest planet in the solar system. The reason that Venus is hotter than Mercury, is because it has an atmosphere made of carbon dioxide. It also has clouds of acid in its atmosphere. This is called the greenhouse effect. Carbon dioxide traps most of the heat from the sun. The cloud layers also act as a blanket. The result is a runaway greenhouse effect, that has caused the planet's temperature to soar to 465 degrees Celsius hot enough to melt lead. The lack of atmosphere causes Mercury's surface temperature, to vary by hundreds of degrees, on its dark side, Mercury gets very cold because it has almost no atmosphere to hold in heat, and keeps the surface warm. Whereas the thick mantle of carbon dioxide, keeps the surface temperature of Venus steady, hardly varying at all, anywhere on the planet, or at any time of day or night. The Sun accounts for about 99.86% of the total mass in the solar system. At the center of our solar system is the Sun, binding the planets with its gravitational pull. From our viewpoint on Earth, the Sun appears small in the sky, but in reality it dwarfs even Jupiter, the largest planet in the solar system. In terms of mass, the Sun comprises over 99.86% of the solar system, with the planet Jupiter accounting for half of the remaining mass, and remaining 0.07% is everything else, like planets, moons, dwarf planets, comets, asteroids, gas and dust. Born over 4.6 billion years ago, the Sun is considered a fairly middle-aged star, with 5 more billion years left. After that, it will become a red giant, consuming the orbits of Mercury and Venus, making Earth unfit for life. I hope you have enjoyed these weird, and wonderful facts about the solar system. That's all for now, don't forget to like, share and subscribe with friends.